We're now on the road for a few days and it's not going well actually. One of the problems is the water and the bathroom, the faucet. Well, you see how it leaks. I'll try to replace the faucet now. So first we empty out the cabinet under the sink. Then here we see the water pipes from the faucet and the RV. First re releasing the water pressure. And let's see, that's our new faucet ordered from Amazon. We already knew the water, the faucet is dripping, so we ordered a new one. And here it is. So then we disconnect the water pipes. They are crimped on to the faucet. Make sure you don't lose these crimping things. Then unscrew the faucet. It's with one screw tightened up. And pull out the water pipes. It drips a little bit. And then we can take it out. The old water faucet is connected with a copper pipe. The new, one, the new ones are connected with flexible hose, hoses, but we need the copper one. So let's screw them into the new faucet because the and then and then cleaning the sink in the bathroom. The new faucet is screwed into the sink with a very tall screw. The problem is it's too long. We need to put our water hoses on these copper pipes and that's not possible if there's a screw. So what do we need to do? We'll cut it. I first started with a small saw but that didn't work. So I grabbed a bigger one and it took me half an hour to saw this screw off. Here it is. Then and now it fits perfectly. What way will we connect the faucet. That one is better than the other one. The faucet needs a little bit fine-tuning and then there's the faucet. Let's tighten it up and connect the water hoses and crimp them, crimp them back on to the faucet. And it works! One less problem! To save water, we replace the aerator in the faucet with a different one. In 5 seconds, 450 milliliters water. In 5 seconds, 250 milliliters. Almost half of it. <coughs> In five seconds, hundred milliliter. The faucet is installed, I had to shorten it into things, but finally it, it sits in the right place. The water is connected, it works. I installed the aerator, which reduces to 100 milliliters per 5 seconds. And I'm not sure if we leave th that one in place or put the 250 milliliter version in, because 100 milliliter per 5 seconds 
it's very less it's almost impossible to wash your hands because it's well a little bit more than dripping but it's not a lot of water but we'll find out later all right so far this video oh by the way this time it went better with the faucet I also installed in the kitchen a new faucet and I'll make a series of videos about that because that was a disaster <laughs> but that will follow later so thanks for watching see you later bye